Hi guys, welcome back to the Tech Chat, where today we're going to compare the speed and the performance between the original iPad Air on the right and the brand new iPad Pro 9.7 on the left. We're going to start with a boot speed test and then we'll do some app launching speed tests, uh, look at benchmarks and also multitasking to see whether the A7 chip with one gigabyte of RAM in the original Air, uh, how much slower that is compared to the new A9X chip and two gigabytes of RAM in the new iPad Pro 9.7. So as you can see in this boot speed test, it's taken just 12 seconds for the iPad Pro 9.7 to boot up. But as we wait for the original Air to catch up, it's worth mentioning that most people don't consider upgrading from the Air 2 to the new Pro to be worthwhile. But if you're like me and you own the original Air, it may actually be worth the investment. So it's going to be interesting to see how much of a performance difference there is between these two tablets. So the original Air takes about 40 seconds to boot, which is over three times longer than the new iPad Pro. So in terms of boot speed, there's a big difference. But let's move on to some benchmarks and some app launching tests to see if these uh, differences carry on when we're actually using the tablet as well. So making sure there's nothing running in the background and ensuring that both tablets are running the same software. We've got iOS 9.3.1 running on both devices. Uh, we can uh, kick off with a couple of benchmarks, starting with the Geek Bench 3 benchmark. Uh, so we'll get that running and then uh, I'm going to cut right to the scores. And as you can see, uh, there's a big difference here. The uh, new iPad Pro 9.7 is pretty much twice as fast in both single and multi-core performance compared to the original Air. So a big difference there. But let's see how they compare in the Antutu benchmark. Once again, the iPad Pro absolutely absolutely blows the original iPad out of the water, scoring 158,000 points, over double the original iPad Air. So again, a huge difference in this benchmark. But do these benchmarks reflect a real world performance difference? Well, let's have a look by doing some app launching tests. Let's kick off with Crossy Road. And as you can see, the iPad Pro has already taken a lead. That's a pretty big difference, I think you'll agree. That's about eight seconds. So uh, let's move on to another game and have a look at Angry Birds 2. What a huge difference. The new Pro loaded the game 13 seconds faster than the original Air. That's a massive difference. Let's see if this trend continues with Real Racing 3. So the Pro loads Real Racing 3 about 15 seconds faster than the original Air. Again, that's a huge difference uh, we're seeing here. But to be fair, the iPad Air does run the game and it's got a very good playable frame rate, but these are graphically intensive games. But let's move on to some uh, less intensive apps to see if there's a similar difference in app launching times.
But as well as the speed difference between the A7 and the A9X chip, it's also worth noting that the new Pro has 2GB of RAM versus the original's 1GB. So let's see if that makes any difference when going back to recently opened apps and launching them again. So as you can see, opening recently used apps, both tablets have to reload and refresh them, but the Pro is significantly faster at doing this. There is definitely a much more of a delay on the original Air. In terms of usability, they're both excellent. They're still both very fast and responsive. It's a credit uh, to the software, I suppose, but the Pro is definitely substantially faster. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy my videos, and hopefully I'll see you again right here on the Tech Chat.